This is my current MacBook Pro desktop setup, and this setup has allowed me to be very productive no matter what it was I was working on. Today, we're gonna to be discussing a way to get a similar desktop setup on the go. The primary workhorse is the 2021 Space Gray M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro. And this thing has just been amazing taking on anything I throw at it, whether it's editing photos in Photoshop, creating videos in Final Cut Pro, or making music in Logic Pro. Now I'm also using the Pro Display XDR, which is a drop dead gorgeous 6K display. Now on top of that, I'm also using the CalDigit TS4 to compensate for or the ports that I need that are currently not available on the MacBook Pro. The Belkin 3-in-1 charger with MagSafe is currently charging my iPhone, Apple Watch, and second-generation AirPods Pro. Now, I personally love the way the charger lifts the iPhone off the ground and allows you the ability to charge your device portrait or horizontally. This allows me to see notifications, silence alarms, and do whatever else I need to do without having to get up, move around, or take the iPhone off the charger completely. My at-home setup works great, but how do I get something similar while on the go? Mac OS 12.3 and iPad OS 15.4 introduced something special, something that has made being mobile with a similar desk setup very much so possible. That something special was universal control. Universal control Control allows you the ability to switch back and forth between the iPad and the Mac using a single mouse and keyboard without having to use third-party add-ons. To use Universal Control, you must ensure all of your devices are on the same iCloud account. Head to System Settings, go down to Displays. When you click on Displays, go all the way down to Advanced. Those first two tabs must be enabled to use Universal Control. Click done, head all the way up to the top right hand corner, you see a plus sign. Now that plus sign should have all of the devices available to you on your iCloud account. Now you'll see mirror or extend to, which are all of your sidecar options, but you'll also see link keyboard and mouse to, which are all of your universal control options. I can now set up my MacBook and my iPad as a dual monitor system, similar to my at home setup on the go. I use the Magic Keyboard to support the iPad Pro, which has a 12.9 inch display, which has been perfect as a secondary display. Now I'm also using the Magic Pencil, so working in apps like Photoshop has been a little easier as well. The MacBook Pro has speakers that sound really good for its size. The speakers get really loud and the bass hits pretty hard for laptop speakers. That said, I also have my second generation AirPods Pro and the AirPods Max, whichever I need to use at that particular time. Being part of the Apple ecosystem, connection happens a lot easier without having to use a lot of third-party software. Now, I do have videos in regards to the Apple ecosystem in the description below if interested. The 2021 MacBook Pro was updated with three Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI port, an SD card port, and a headphone jack for high impedance headphones, but it still does not have micro SD support for drone work, nor USB-A ports for accessories. Now to fix this, I've been using the CalDigit TS4 while at home, but on the go, I've been using the Satechi Aluminum USB-C multi-port pro adapter. You gain a micro SD port, so no need to walk around with micro SD adapters, a USB-A port for accessories or whatever you may need at that particular time, an additional USB-C port and an additional HDMI port. You now have the flexibility to use an array of devices with a single accessory, which is similar to what I have for my home setup. As far as keeping devices charged, carrying around my 3-in-1 MagSafe charger from Belkin could be an issue in this particular situation. And this is where my 3 in one MagSafe charger from Zira comes in. The three in one charger from Zira has been a game changer. It is very compact, so it is very easy to carry around. It literally folds in any way you may need it for use. You get a 15 watt MagSafe charger, you get an Apple Watch charger, and an additional five watt charger that can charge your AirPods or any other wireless Qi charging device. It's similar to my Belkin three in one MagSafe charger at home, the Apple Watch portion will charge your Apple 
watch no matter what watch band you are using. I can easily place everything in a single book bag and have a setup similar to my home setup within a few minutes of getting to the on the go location. Using the iPad with the Magic Keyboard, the USB-C Multiport Pro adapter and the 3-in-1 MagSafe charger has definitely made my on the go workflow very efficient.